President Obama and Romney were back on the attack Thursday in multiple swing state stops that opened the final chapter in the 2012 race for the White House. After a brief baton caused by the devastation of Hurricane Sandy, Romney blasted Obama's stewardship of the economy while Obama derided his opponent as a salesman trying to peddle himself as a candidate of change. Obama, who won a surprise endorsement Thursday from New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, sought to convert high marks for his handling of Hurricane Sandy into support at the ballot box. The tactic thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. That came amid new evidence the 2012 race is headed for a photo finish. The latest national polling average from Real Clear Politics showed Obama and Romney nearly tied, with Obama at 47.4% and Romney at 47.3% with only five days remaining before Tuesday's election. While Obama has inched narrowly ahead in the RCP poll average, Team Romney signaled it hopes to expand the electoral battle round map by confirming the GOP candidate will campaign Sunday in Pennsylvania. Recent surveys show Romney cutting into Obama's long-standing lead in the Keystone State. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A day after cheering storm ravaged New Jersey with Republican Governor Chris Christie, Obama returned to the campaign trail clad in an Air Force One bomber jacket and speaking from behind the podium adorned not with his campaign's slogan forward, but with the presidential seal. The disaster response showed there are no Democrats or Republicans during a storm, just fellow Americans, he told a crowd in Green Bay, Wisconsin, the state that is key to both candidates' paths to 270 electoral votes. We rise and fall as one nation, one people all thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The petty differences that consume us in normal times all seem to melt away, Obama said. There are no Democrats or Republicans during a storm, just fellow Americans. Romney, for his part, took a much sharper tone against Obama than when he returned to the campaign trail on Wednesday, when he avoided criticizing the president by name. Romney warned that if the president were to be re-elected, we're going to see high levels of unemployment continue and mopped the president's recent proposal to name a secretary of business. We don't need thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A secretary of business to understand business. We need a president who understands business, Romney said. Romney also joked about the four more years chance that have become the hallmark of Obama's campaign stops. I know the Obama folks are chanting for more years, for more years, but our chant is this. Five more days. Five more days. That's our chant, Romney said. While Obama branded Romney a bad salesman, he dropped his recent Romney to a punch line, which jabbed at his opponent's ability to flip-flop on issues. Instead he lambasted Romney thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the pro